Hey guys, it's Taylor here with Coffee and Bible Time and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, feel free to watch some of our videos and if you like what you see, then subscribe. But we're so glad to have you all here and let's get into the video. So if you're like me or if you're like anybody, sometimes you go to church and then you struggle a little bit paying attention or not even paying attention, but just staying focused to what you're listening to and you want to you really want to stay focused and you really want to listen and get all that you can out of it but for some reason you just are having a hard time i have some tips for you that worked for me they work like a charm so first things first this isn't even a tip but if you got your phone in your lap or if you have it sitting next to you like next to your leg or something get that sucker out of there you need to put that thing away because out of sight, out of mind. My actual first tip is to bring a notebook. Let me tell you, bringing a notebook helps. And you're not going to just leave the notebook sitting next to you. You're going to actually write in it. Duh. But you're going to take notes. And that's not just going to help you stay focused during the message. It's also going to help you retain it the information that was given to you so that when you're back at home you can apply it to your life and it just helps in so many ways. Now my notebook that I use, I got it from Target. It says start an adventure. Now normally I'm the type of person that just sits on my couch in the air conditioning in the summer because I don't like the heat but I mainly got it because it looked cute. <laughs> this is what I do to write my notes in during church. And basically it's just really cute. It kind of motivates me. Just a side note, if you have cute pens, that also helps you because you know, you're more excited about writing in your notebook because you have cute pens to jot things down with. Just a girl thing. <laughs> The second tip, which a lot of people wouldn't actually think to do, is to move where you're sitting. And I don't mean like sit crisscross applesauce, but like, I mean, instead of sitting in the back, which a lot of people do because I don't know why it feels less scary, just instead go move up to the front. It doesn't have to be the front row, but it can be close to the front. That way you can see the preacher or the pastor up close which can actually help you focus more because you feel like this is more real life instead of you're sitting far back it's kind of like you're in another world or like you're watching it on television and my third tip which I'm sure some of you guys have already done is to pray to God that he would humble your heart so that you can give him your undivided attention during church you're letting him know God, I'm surrendering myself to you right now. I want to give you my full attention during church and I want to be able to devote myself to you. Just one hour a week on Sunday, you should be able to devote one hour of your time to God, undivided. So if you haven't been praying, I definitely recommend that you pray to God. That's going to be the big game changer. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope these tips helped. Please comment down below if you use them during church and if they worked because I'm really excited. These worked for me so I hope they work for you. And don't forget to subscribe or check out some of our other videos and have a great day.